Every machine has its use, and they work together to make sure you and everyone else gets their share of delicious food. Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today, we'll be covering the machines farmers use so they can feed hungry mouths the world over. First up, we have the QMAC Trencher. This attachment tool is designed for making and maintaining trenches to ensure correct drainage. It's suitable for 25 horsepower tractors with a creep or low gear. It is easy to regulate the depth and has a dust and watertight self-adjusting bearing provided with a connection for one PTO shaft offering good crumbling of the excised soil. It provides a working width of 0 to 10 centimeters and a working depth of up to 35 to 50 centimeters. The trench cutter is fitted with an adjustable protective cover to control the cutting soil spreading width and for covering driving silage. Next, we have the Harvey One. It is an autonomous harvester built for difficult root crops. The harvester is equipped with mechanical and vision-based technologies that make it autonomous. The sensors guarantee that the intake and sharing blades are automatically maintained at the optimal crop height. Because of the crawler's tracks and compact design, the machine exerts less pressure on the ground than a human weighing 2.5 tonnes. It has a 40mm sieve belt with a 1,000kg load capacity and a 75cm operating width. The sieve belt and dam drum are adaptable for harvesting several types of crops. Up next, we have the SL700 and SL900. A German company, Grimm, has designed these warehouse loaders. Both offer high conveying capacity and product protection. They are perfect for storing potatoes, onions, beetroot, celery and other bulk goods and are the right choice for medium-sized businesses. These store loaders have new trough-shaped belts that ensure high throughput rates, optimal prediction and user-friendly operation. In addition, the quantum in-feed conveyor enables greater swivel ranges of up to 180 degrees. The large wheel overhang allows long run times during storage without the warehouse loader having to be moved. The new hall filling functions offer a wide range of functions, from a pure automatic swiveling between two freely positionable boundary boards to an automatic filling of a warehouse section. Butte Discs is a South Australian company specialising in developing disc chain systems. These discs can be retrofitted to your current frames or inserted into new frames. Changing discs takes just 45 minutes, which only requires one spanner, and everything can be done in the field. Disc chains include weights that are simply adjustable and can be added to discs. Different discs are developed for various soil and residue types. Depending on the kind of soil, the cutting disc can cover 27,000 hectares or more. The quarter-inch standard disc has a maximum lifespan of 70,000 acres.
Next, we have the Vortex Atomizer. Seher introduced this lineup for Vineyards and Tree, which consists of five different models, either entrailed or lift mounted. These atomizers are suitable for a variety of crops, including citrus, olive, and kiwi. The vineyard versions have deflectors, and each deflector has a single jet with a single nozzle. On the other hand, the tree version has deflectors with three nozzles on each jet, offering a higher amplitude and generating more flow with the same consumption to get better treatment according to the leaf mass. Up next, we have the RC-16+. Plus. This low-line trailer is intended to enable the damage-free harvesting of root crops. Its low side height of 3 foot 9 leads to decreased fall of the harvested crop and thus less damage. The trailer body is made from pressed steel and channel sections to maximise the strength to weight ratio, and the rear pivot prevents the tail end from falling. It is available in 13 to 18 ton configurations with a variety of features and can be further modified to match the customer's demand. It has a suspension system with a single leaf spring that decreases body roll and increases stability on inclines and rough terrain. Moreover, the height adjustable spring mounted drawbar has an active suspension system that enables the operator to control the amount of rebound. The SL4 is up next. Primarco, a German company, created this pruning equipment for removing hedges or pruning roadways in woods. The SL4 features circular saws powered by a hydraulic motor, and all of its operations are controlled by electronic, hydraulic control valves. Its suspension frames come in right side and left side configurations for various front loaders and telescopic handlers, with 110 degrees of hydraulic tilting and 100 centimeters of side shift. The control unit, with a joystick and touchscreen display, is designed to operate all operations from the driver's seat. The Corn Comb Tiger 300 is last but certainly not least. When silage is scooped from below, the silage wall's top layer may collapse and fall onto the silage wagon. As a result, Holras has developed a series of maze combs to prevent these potentially dangerous incidents. The Tiger 300 is one such device. With a support leg and adapter plate designed to manage corn pits up to 12 meters in height, 
It can be used with the boom of shovels, a telehandler, or the front loader of a tractor to lower the elevated piece. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you check out one of these two. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.